Let me tell you what all of you listening to me tonight are going to have to deal with for the rest of your life. An extreme amount of frustration. It's a different type of darkness where you have to brace yourself to try to back off this feeling of wanting to stop. Back off this feeling of wanting to give up. Back off this feeling of, you know what, I, I, I'm not going to minister to another person because I'm tired of people. I'm tired of fighting with people to try to get them to do the right thing. Fighting with people to live forever and go to heaven. I'm tired of fighting with people to try to save their marriage. I'm tired of fighting with people to try to save your life because you think you're supposed to smoke, smoke weed and do crack all day long. And you have to fight the feeling of frustration of, Lord, let everybody go to hell. I'm saved. I'm good. I'm going to sit up here and read the Bible and pray and watch TV. And you have to fight the feeling. It's going to just hit you. Where someone try to just light on you to try to make you switch to the other side. Give this Christianity. I mean, they're going to fight. And you, if you don't know how to deal with that frustration, you got to learn how a Christian is called to deal with frustration. That's why Jesus said you're going to have to be faithful to the end. And he said, before you start, you better call, count the cost. I mean, that's, you know, they keep trying to say everything is going to be wonderful with Christianity, and it will be. But you're going to deal with trouble that God is going to get you out of. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he will deliver you out of them all. But it ain't no easy street religion, as my dad used to say. And they keep telling people, come over here where everything is rosy and everything is wonderful. No, it's not always going to be rosy and wonderful, but it will be one day when you stand before Jesus. And he says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. But when it comes to Jesus talking about his version of Christianity, he said, before you say I do, make sure you think about this. Because if you can't even leave your mama and daddy to follow me, you ain't worth this kingdom I got for you. Jesus, no. You switched to my side. You better be ready to fight. Because if you ain't ready to fight, you're going to switch back.